Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, I am going to share you how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 16.2. So I am using the iOS 16.2 version. In case if you are actually facing any issue on your current version, means you can downgrade from the iOS 16.2 to the so Apple signed versions. So and also in case if you are having any other iPhone related problems like uh, so you can't be able to get out from the recovery mode, you are stuck in the recovery mode and you want to repair your iPhone and like that problems also we can able to solve using this method so now first of all for this method we are using the software called alt phone so here is a software so alt phone iOS system repair so this software is actually available for both Windows and as well as Mac computer so just to install this software so I have given the link in the description so just to click on this free download option you can just download and install it in your PC and for safety just to back up your iPhone with the cloud drive because due during downgrade if any power failure or a connection disconnection like that happen means there is a chance of you might lost all your data so for safety purpose better back up your iPhone with the cloud drive so once you backed up means so in even if your data is lost also you can able to restore your iPhone with the, all the app data as like your original iPhone you are previously used and finally you have to connect your iPhone with your uh, Windows PC or Mac PC but and main thing is that you have to use the original USB lightning cable so that is also important for downgrading the purpose now just to download and install the alt phone ios system repair so here once you downloaded now this is the application and this is a ui and this application is comes with a very light in white and the design which are all really good one you have to connect your pc with your uh, iphone so once you connected with your iphone so your uh, iphone model will be shown here for if suppose it not shown means so you have to just click on this settings option so here you can able to find three exception has been detected you have to just click on the repair drive so once you click on that so in case if any port is actually disconnected or if any driver is not available so like that issue will be sorted out by the alt phone itself also you have to trust your pc on the iphone during the connection so once the repair has been done you have to restart the alt phone io system repair just click on the restart option so the program will be again restarted so now as you look at here so i am actually using the iphone 12 so now the iphone 12 has been connected so if you are having any connection related issue between your pc and your iphone means you can just click on the settings option and click on the repair drive so that you can able to solve the issue and also here is the advanced repair in case if your repair drive this option is not helpful means you can click on the advanced repair and here you want to do all these things uninstalling the old driver files reset bin saw and install microsoft runtime library so like that's some of these options you have to use and also you have to check whether your alt phone is comes with the up-to-date version so just select this down arrow and click for the check for updates in case if any updates on the alt phone ios system repair also you have to update that too main thing is that if you are using a windows pc means your windows pc should be up to date and you have to turn off the antivirus on your windows pc and which software you are using so we are using the alt phone ios system repair so that software is also need to be up to date so these are all the main things you have to be ensured before proceeding for the downgrade purpose and after that here is the option downgrade ios just to click on that here is the two options standard downgrade and deep downgrade so standard so if you click on the standard downgrade so there will be no data loss so just to select this and click on the standard downgrade and here you can able to find the so current ios version my current ios version is 16.2 and your iphone is already connected so here is a downgradable ios firmware so presently ios 16.1.2 is only able to downgradable because only apple signed ios version we can able to downgrade so you can select that version so for each phone the downgradable version will be differs because on each phone the apple signed version will be diverse so based on your smartphone and which ios version you are using so based on that the downgradable version will also differs and after that in case if you are not downloaded the firmware package means so you have to download the firmware package so it will be ask here download firmware package once you download it so i have already downloaded so 16.1.2 is already in ready condition so after that just click on the start downgrade option so now the downgrade has been started so now it will actually verify the package and after that it start to downgrade the ios version from 16.2 to 16.1.2 so now the firmware package has been verifying and now the downgrading device has been started 
and your iphone will be goes to the recovery mode so as you see here currently the iphone is goes to the recovery mode and as well as the downgrade purpose is also going on so this is a very important step so you you need to be keep your device connected or else your os might be corrupted so after that you have to restore your iphone from the starting so for that only i have already said you have to back up your iphone to the cloud drive it will be greatly helpful in case if any power failure or any disconnection like that means so now the downgrade purpose has been going on so it's a standard downgrade only so that it will be no data loss then in case if your standard downgrade is actually failed means you can go for the deep downgrade but for deep downgrade it will actually erase all your data so you have to back up your iphone first and after that you can proceed for deep downgrade and in case if you are actually stuck with a recovery mode like that means so there is a tools here enter recovery mode and exit recovery mode also so apart from downgrading so using this alt phone ios system repair you can do lot more things you can uh, enter the recovery mode so once you click on the enter recovery mode option so so now your iphone will be actually goes to the recovery mode so you no need to press any buttons like that so just connect your iphone and after that click on the enter recovery mode it will be goes to the recovery mode soon so as you seen here now the device has been goes to the recovery mode and in case if your iphone is actually stuck in the recovery mode so every time you are booting only recovery mode page is actually showing means and it not boot up means you can uh, that is the option to for exiting the recovery mode so you have to connect your iphone and here is the option exit recovery mode so just to click on this option so that uh, in case if you are stuck up in the recovery mode means you can easily able to so get out from the recovery mode and you can boot your iphone phone without any issues so now the recovery mode has been exited successfully mm -hmm. so here it is so like this you can enter and exit recovery mode and even after you can't able to exit from the recovery mode then you can proceed for the ios system repair you have to click on the standard repair or deep repair like that in case if your os is actually corrupted means you can go for the deep repair and once you click on the deep repair you can restore your iphone with the latest ios version and here is also some more more guidelines so you can enter the dfe mode easily you can enter the recovery mode all the instruction has, has been available here so in case if you can't able to so get out from the recovery mode means you can uh, just go to the dfu mode and after that you can uh, proceed for the standard repair or a deep repair so using this method you can easily able to recover your iphone to the latest version in case if your iphone is actually stuck in the recovery mode means so you can able to find all the guidelines here so once you click on the enter dfu mode so for entering the dfu mode so you have to just connect your device and here is the, all the steps you have to press and hold the volume down button and the power button simultaneously for 5 seconds and after that you have to release the power button and continue hold the volume button for the 10 seconds so after that you will get a black color screen full black screen so that means it's a dfu mode once you connected with the dfu mode so you have to enter the system repair so just click on the ios system repair so that you can able to repair your iphone in case if your iphone is actually stuck up in the recovery mode means so now using this alt phone ios system repair you can able to so solve your all iphone related problems you, you can downgrade your ios version to the latest apple signed ios version and apart from that you can able to solve other related ios problem or iphone is stuck up like that all issues you can able to solve using the alt phone ios system repair software well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys